Well, they're trying to save the planet while creating thousands of new jobs. Climate tech startups had their day in the sun today. Our business at tech reporter Scott Budman checks in from the Silicon Valley Climate Convention. This may be the future. We sped it up, but this giant flower made up of solar panels cranks up in about five minutes. It then tracks the sun during the day to get maximum exposure as it generates energy. One of the things that panels need to do is be 90 degrees to the sun. When they are, they'll create their best performance. That's why we have our solar day peaking around noon or 1 p.m. Before and after that, most panels aren't really performing perfectly. Well, with this system, we're tracking the sun all day long. It's part of Verge 22, a silicon Valley Conference focusing on the future of climate tech. Lots of uses for solar panels. Lots of pitches here for venture capitalists. Basically the idea that there's big money and all kinds of jobs to be had in the fight against climate change. Job creation across all sectors and across all socioeconomic groups. So typically we think in the Valley that we're going to have increased hiring of engineers. Obviously we're going to have that. But what's exciting about climate tech is it involves lots more people. It also means protection, a roof to cover food carts in developing nations. And it's usually the most vulnerable people in the economy that's pushing these food carts. Using the sun to power a system that blows cold air onto the fruit, helping it stay fresh longer. And it either goes bad by the next day or gets stolen. So now they can bring the canopy down. It acts like an ice box. It keeps it fresh, but it also keeps it safe. And returning to the smart flower, the company admits most of its customers are big businesses. After all, one of these will cost you $40,000 each. They'll give you a discount if you buy four at a time. In San Jose, Scott Budman, NBC, Bay Area News. Okay, thank you, Scott.